Do you have a Next.js application that you secured using Auth0 and you want to deploy it to Vercel? I'm going to show you how in this video. So if you want to follow along with this guide, you can check out the Auth0 by Okta Developer Center. And that way you can read along with this guy and it's going to show you how to take a Next.js app that's secured by Auth0 and you can deploy it to Vercel. I'll show you all the proper settings and everything that you need to do to make sure that deployment is successful. You can check out the Auth0 Developer Center and check out this guide and do it step by step right with me. So the first thing we're going to do is go to the Auth0 dashboard. Under applications, I have Auth0 Vercel demo. So I'm going to click there and then I'm going to get the domain and the client ID values. I'm going to copy those values and actually paste them here on the guide. So copy the domain as well as the client ID and paste them on the actual guide. Pasting the values right here will make them available throughout the guide and you'll be able to copy and paste the values from the guide. Next, let's head over to the Vercel dashboard. Then on the Vercel dashboard, add new project. Then we're going to import a Git repository. I'm going to use Auth0-Next.js. I'm going to import that there. All right, so now I'm going to set the guide and the Vercel dashboard side by side. Then I'm going to scroll down to environment variables, copy the Auth0 base issuer URL, paste it here. Then for the value, I'm going to copy the value from the guide as well, which is the Auth0 domain. Click add. And then we're going to also add the client ID. So we're going to copy client ID here, paste it there, then paste that value and then add it here as well. And now we're going to get the Auth0 client secret. Copy that here, paste that here. And then I'm gonna go back to the application details and I'm going to copy the client secret and then paste it here on the Vercel dashboard. The guide doesn't say the Auth0 client secret because it is left to be kept confidential. So we wanted to make sure that no one gets access to your account. The next thing you'll need is a session secret. This is used to sign the session ID of the cookie of your web application. So in the terminal, you can copy this command. And let's paste that command into the terminal. And then let's copy this value, that's the output. All right, and I'm going to copy that output here into the off zero next as secret key field then I'm going to scroll down a little bit on the guide and then I'm going to copy off zero secret paste it here on the environment variables and then I'm going to copy that value as well and then add those all right so next let's scroll down and click deploy All right, now it says congratulations, your project is deployed to Vercel. So let's go to the dashboard. So next I'm gonna to go to domains and then I'm gonna copy this domain. Then on the guide, I'm going to scroll down. And then I'm going to paste in the domain into the Vercel production domain field on the guide. Make sure it has a production tag like you can see here. So now let's head back to the Auth0 dashboard. So under the Auth0 Vercel demo, under the settings, let's scroll down to allowed callback URLs. And this is the URL that the application will be directed to after the user has been authenticated with Auth0. So I'm going to copy that value and I'm going to paste it here. And this is the Auth0 production URL slash API slash auth slash callback. Okay, and when someone wants to log out, we'll go to allow logout URLs and we'll copy this value from the guide 
and paste it there as well. And then we'll scroll down to save changes. Now let's assign the off zero base URL environment variable on the Vercel dashboard. So head back to the Vercel dashboard, go to settings, scroll down to environment variables. Then let's scroll down on the guide. Let's copy the value of off zero base URL. Then let's copy in the value, which is the Vercel domain. And then make sure that we click save. First, I recommend that you redeploy your application when you change the environment variables for them to take effect. So let's head to deployments, click on the three dots and click redeploy. Now that the deployment is complete, let's head over to the application and try it out. Here we have a Next.js sample application that's already been secured with Auth0. And we just went through the process to make sure that Auth0 and Vercel can communicate for this application. So now let's test it out and see that everything works. So I'm going to click log in. I'm going to scroll down to continue with Google. Then I'm going to click on my username for my Gmail. And there it signs me in and takes me to a profile page and give me some information from my ID token. All right, so now we're gonna see if we're able to log out. And yes, we're able to log out and it takes you to the homepage.